right, Trevor, I'm right out of the mikveh. We can learn a little Kedushas Levi. We're ready, ready to learn the discourse of the Tahara of the mikveh. So let's see what the Kedushas Levi says today. The Heilige Barditchev Barabra Levi Yitzchok and Sarasashim and Barditchev. Zechus Yigalein Valkli Salomein. Parshas Matos. I wonder why they only have one T there. I'm pretty sure Matos. There's a Dagesh in the Tess. So Ish Ki Yidar Neder. In the book of Numbers, chapter 30, verse 3, it says, When a man vows a vow, he makes a vow. So the Heilige Berditsch of Rav Zchusin says, I and Vishmari Oida look in a book called Shari Aura, the Gates of Light. Should perish neder nundar. The word neder, which means a vow, it stands for nundar, the letter nun. And then the word dar, which I'm assuming here means to dwell, a dwelling place, but maybe we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure of that. I don't remember this Torah been a long time, at least a year since I looked at it. So, Klau, the general rule is as follows. Hanun Moira Alamunas Yisrael. The letter Nun represents the faith that the Jewish people have. The faith that the Jewish people have that God, in His abundant mercy, has divine providence at every moment, every second, every fraction of a second, on all the multiverse, <coughs> all the worlds. And he doesn't remove that, God forbid, his divine providence, even for one millisecond from all of the worlds. Possession imsa is nun hafucha betera. So that's why sometimes you find an upside down nun in the Torah that represents something along the lines of a uh, like parentheses. Shemoral is taklus vashkachis aloylamis haboybarachu. That this represents looking at and having divine providence over the worlds and the blessed Creator. It's not only in the Torah, but other books of Scripture. For example, in the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 1, we also have this upside down nun. And where it says, and the Lord answered Job from out of the whirlwind. Because that scripture is where God communicates to Job that he does not remove his divine presence, providence from all the creatures. This is what our sages, blessed memory, said in the Gemara Nadarim, Chesomad Aleph, 8a, Neder Chal Dvar Mitzvah, that a vow is uh, effective upon something that is a religious obligation, a commandment. Rat Saloimar, what does it mean? Kaven Shiroya Shkacha Sabari. That since we recognize the Almighty's divine presence, the Creator's divine pres- providence on all of the universes, then it teaches us when when you become cognizant of God's. Um, of God's divine providence, what happens is then you measure in your own 
soul how and why and what, how one should conduct himself, that he should prohibit even that which is permitted to everyone to take on a vow of abstinence that's above and beyond that which is required by the Torah law. It's easy to understand. It should be noted that the translator, it's not me, even though I put out translations from the Kedusha Slavi on Amazon, this translation is not mine, but he points out that this Sefer that the Kedusha Slavi is quoting, Shari Ara, is by Rav Yosef ben Avram Gik Talia from the 17th century. All right, thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you later. How do I turn this thing off? Look at this. Yeah.